Hi, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today, December 19th, marks a historical moment in astronomy. The Interstellar Comet 3I Atlas, officially known as C slash 2025N1 Atlas, reached its closest approach to Earth at approximately 168 to 170 million miles from Earth. As it accelerates outbound, Free Eye Atlas will never return, heading towards Jupiter in 2026 and eventually van vanishing into the depths of interstellar space. Discovered on July 1st of this year by the NASA-funded Atlas Telescope in Chile, Free Eye Atlas quickly revealed its ex extraterrestrial origins through its hyperbolic orbit and high speed of around 137,000 miles per hour upon entry. It's only the third confirmed interstellar object following Amuamua 2017 and Bariso in 2019. Unlike the enigmatic Oumuamua, which showed no cometary activity, 3I Atlas has been remarkably active, displaying a coma, dust tail, and powerful jets from the start. It was so far out, it shouldn't have been doing that type of activity. As it approached its closest approach to the sun on October 29th, solar heating triggered intense outgassing. The Hubble Space Telescope images captured a teardrop-shaped dust cocoon and a persistent anti-tail, a sunward tail, spike of dust longer than the Earth and the distant moon. The comet developed a striking greenish glow from excited gases, they claim, like diaminic carbon, along with high levels of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and unusual nickel vapor. What was unusual is that the vapor didn't have iron. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Stick around, I'll give you more unusual details about 3i Atlas. Please like, share, and subscribe. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries came recently. The first ever X-ray emissions detected from an interstellar comet. Space telescopes like JAXAs and XRISM and ESA uh, Newton captured a faint but extensive X-ray halo stretching over 250,000 miles. They claim that this strange, huge glow was caused by charge exchange between cometary gases and the solar wind. This glow reveals hidden details about light elements like hydrogen and nitrogen, offering clues to the comet's ancient composition. Possibly shaped by cosmic rays over billions of years in interstellar space. From the images of the glow, it's huge, absolutely huge. They still call it an alien snowball, but if it was a snowball made up of, of uh, frozen rock and ice, it would have broken apart when it made its close approach to the sun. And it didn't do that. You can't see it right now with a, your naked eye. You would need at least an 8-inch telescope to get a glimpse of 3i Atlas. Is it a comet or is it something else? If we can see it, it can see us. What are your thoughts about that? As it recedes and go, goes farther out into space, activity is waning, but data is still pouring in. Will they reveal any of that new data with us? I, I, I highly doubt it. Besides not having a breakup as it approached the, the sun, it actually accelerated in speed, which is unusual. The gravity of the sun would have normally slowed it down. But instead, it sped up. Observation showed a small additional non-gravitational -gra acceleration. Scientists explained this, that it had formed jets like a rocket thruster, 
pushing the comet slightly off its pure gravitational path. There was also claims of a narrow band or patterned, patterned radial pulses. But if you want to believe them, mainstream observations and SETI, monitoring 3i Atlas, found no evidence, they say, of artificial or techno signatures. They claim that all detected signal to, signals align with natural cometary processes. I think because of, you know, so many of us losing faith in the government, um, we're going to have to depend on what the amateur astronomers who have at least an 8-inch telescope or larger um, could provide for us in the uh, upcoming days or even weeks. What are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.